Today we're going to learn how to solve linear inequalities. Now by definition, linear inequalities, they are open mathematical sentence formed when an inequality symbol is placed between two expressions. Now examples of inequality symbols will be the greater than symbol, greater than or equal to, less than, or less than or equal to symbols. So we have four linear inequality symbols that we will use today. Now examples of linear inequalities will be x less than 3, or x minus 4 greater than or equal to 7, or 4 plus x less than or equal to 3 plus 2x. Today we're going to learn how to solve linear inequalities, and I'm going to show some linear equations so that we can relate it to the previous skills that we have learned before. So let's say you have 2x plus 4 is equal to 10, which is obviously a linear equation because of the equal sign. If we're going to solve for x, we will need two steps to be able to get x by itself. So the first step is to subtract 4 on both sides, giving us 2x equal to 6. Now dividing it by 2 will give us x equal to 3. And that is for a linear equation. Now what is the difference when we solve linear inequality instead of linear equation? So I'm going to use the same set of variables and coefficients and constants, but this time I'm going to change the equation into an inequality. And to do that, instead of an equal sign, I have the greater than symbol. So now I have 2x plus 4 greater than 10. So just like what we did on the previous example, you need to get rid of 4 by subtracting 4 on both sides, and get rid of 2 by dividing 2 on both sides. So we have x less than 3. So there's not much difference, and the only important difference here is the symbol that we're using. So since this is an equation, x is equal to 3, and this is a linear inequality, therefore x is less than to 3. So the, step, the steps that we are working on are still the same. It's just that now we're using an inequality symbol. Now one special step that we do on sol solving linear inequality is switching the symbols from less than to greater than or from greater than or equal to to less than or equal to. Now when do you switch your inequality symbol when you're performing your solution? So let's say I have 5 minus 2x equal to 25 and I need to have x by itself. So this is a linear equation because I'm using an equal sign. So to get rid of 5, I need to subtract 5 and I'll have negative 2x equal to 20. And to get rid of negative 2 by x, I need to divide it by negative 2, leaving me with x equal to negative 10. Now, in a linear equation, we're finished with our solution once we have x by itself. But in a linear inequality, let's say I have 5 minus 2x less than or equal to 25. To have x by itself, I will get rid of 5 by subtracting 5 on both sides. So I have negative 2x less than or equal to 20. Now, with, I'm dividing negative 2 on both sides, so I can get rid of negative 2. And this is the special case for a linear inequality. When you're dividing negative to both sides of your inequality, so you, you'll get x by itself, you need to switch the symbol. So instead of x less than or equal to negative 10, you'll have x greater than or equal to negative 10. Now, once again, you are switching the sign not because your answer is a negative value. You're switching your sign because you divided by a negative number. So every time you divide by a negative number or multiply both sides by a negative number, the rule is to switch your inequality symbol. Now, there is another rule in switching inequality symbol, and that's what we're having on our next slide. Now the basic rule in writing inequality is that your variable should always be on the left side and your numerical value should always be on the right side and you cannot switch them. So if I have 7 greater than negative 5 plus 2x and I need to solve for x, I'm going to get rid of 5 by adding 5 on both sides, leaving me with 2x. Now I have 12 less greater than 2x and to have x by itself, I will divide both sides by x, leaving me with 6 greater than x. Now I did not divide by negative and I did not multiply by negative on both sides. However, my x is on the right side of the inequality so I need to switch it. So when you switch it, you'll have x less than 6. So instead of using 
6 greater than x, you need to switch your inequality so that x is here on the left side and your 6 will be on the right side. So your final answer should be x less than 6. And this is another reason why you need to switch an inequality when you're solving linear inequality. So for number 2, I have 3x plus 2 greater than or equal to 5 plus 5x. So I have two x's on both sides of my inequality. So I need to have x by itself. So our goal is to have x on this side of the inequality and all our numbers on the right side of the inequality. So starting to get rid of positive 2, neg minus 2 on both sides, and you'll have 3x greater than 3 plus 5x. Now getting rid of 5x here on this side of your inequality, you'll have negative 5x on both sides, so you'll have negative 2x greater than or equal to 3. Now, since negative 2 is still with x, we need to get rid of it by dividing both sides by negative 2. So our final answer here is x less than or equal to negative 3 over 2.